Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld Ascension, episode 35. If you enjoy this episode, please remember to like and subscribe. As always, mod list is down in the description. And with that, let's get into the episode. Now, where we left off from last episode, the toxic fallout had just gone away. So now we no longer have to worry about that. So, plan for this episode is pretty much just going to be to refill our wood store, as we only have 56 wood left, and just continue general construction of our base. Now, it is the 5th of December, which is winter, so we are lacking tree growth, which is a problem. But we can make up for that, theoretically, with the Nexus tree, which we haven't set up yet. Uh, we also are going to be finishing off this room here, the uh, cavern restaurant thing. I'm not sure what to call it yet, but we'll come up with something. Gotta finish a couple floors and then put a floor in the bathroom. And there we go. Just like that, the wooden floors are finished. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do limestone mosaics for the bath and stall floor. I think that'll look quite nice. And, of course, put a singular torch in there so that we can see. Let's also go ahead and put a torch here so that we can see over here as well. Anywhere where the darkness is around about 100, we shall put a torch. Hmm. Alright, so this produces smoked meat, and smoked meat apparently... Uh, tastes good and lasts a long time without refrigeration, so I presume it's similar to these in the way it functions. And there we go. All the torches that we need have now been built. And now we can begin the long process of switching all these wood walls to slate. As well as putting in some corners here and here. There we go. Eventually, we'll turn all these walls into slate, but we're going to go a uh, little by little. Starting with the wood, since we need wood and to uh, fuel all of our things. Uh, we're also going to quickly do the tree and give it to Maze. I do believe Maze... Yep, Maze has the pruning skill, so they will prune faster. And there we go. Maze is now connected to the tree. And we are going to set this to the wood maker. We're going to set it to the wood maker. Man, Macroctus is just constantly on the verge of a mental breakdown. Alright, apparently everybody is getting food poisoning. I am unsure why. It's cleaner than it was. But it's, uh not the worst thing that could happen, so it's more of just a mild nuisance. Uh, I've also done some thinking, and I think we should have uh, Christy here uh, turn uh, Kata into a werewolf, so that uh, Kata can move more efficiently at night, which is exactly what we are going to do. And there we go. Kata will be in a coma for the next two days, but he's also uh, got severe food poisoning, so yeah. Eventually we'll need to fix his brain uh, but and his leg, uh, but the werewolf thing should help him move faster, so. Oh, and now Proctus is hiding in room. Lovely. Alright, let's go ahead and get Calhun to immediately go start going and calming down. Uh, we also need to expand this just a teensy bit uh, in order to get some more research benches. So we're going to expand it like this. It looks silly, but, uh, it should work. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, in order to help keep the, uh, efficiency of our colony going, let's go ahead 
and do snow removal on all the walkways. I believe this gets assigned to the cleaning duties, so it's not likely going to happen for a while, but if it does need to get done, having it assigned will hopefully get it done. And there we go, they got the walls for the uh, workshop expansion completed. Now all we have to do is deconstruct all of these so they can actually get inside it. Oh, and there we go, look at that. Kata turned into a werewolf. Most excellent. And there we go, two research benches. That should be enough for us to have Jaleel do one, and somebody else, if they have no work, can do the other. Not a lot of wood left on the map, but that's because it's winter. Ah, and we have completed the bill to make a lavish stew. Let's go ahead and bring said lavish stew into the stew pot. And now we must wait three days and we will have some lavish meals. And now we have finished researching siege equipment. Which now brings us to once again the research screen and wondering what we should research next. Let's research writing. Let's figure out how to, how to write books. I feel like that's good. Oh, and Four Eyes is shoveling. Very nice. Alright, well, since they finished expanding that I say let's put some more resources into completing transforming the restaurant all right there we go look at that kitchen walls are complete and you know what uh, just for the sake of I can't seem to ever remember to actually check on this we're just gonna go ahead and queue up all the walls and just get them all done now this is going to interfere with the torches, but we can just remake them later. Ooh, a quest. One solitary prisoner, hmm? Alright, let's see, what do we got here? Fauna Fur Wells, wise all theist of Western Atin, wants you to stash a special prisoner for her. The prisoner, a 36-year-old space trafficker, named Trevor Trev Austin, okay, uh, knows embarrassing information about Fur's broad-mindedness, and Fur doesn't want him to be freed. You only need to keep the prisoner for seven days until the scandal passes. Suffering from paralytic abrasion must be kept in bed. Now, we could get Goodwill, which would be good, but let's see if Michael here is any good. Michael here is really good. Okay then, good cooking and plants, both of which we need more of. We need another cook to help take over for Latch, and we just need another planter. I say, Michael, welcome to the team. Not yet, gotta wait seven days. All right. Oh, I was worried they were gonna throw him in the river. All right, go ahead and go get that guy. We'll grab him and haul him in here. Uh, we should probably set up a, uh, a heat stones in here so they don't freeze to death. I didn't even realize we did build one of those. Whoops. Actually, wait a second. We built fur beds in here, right? Yeah, so he won't actually suffer from hypothermia, and he's got paralytic abrasia, so we don't actually need to build that right now. We'll wait till later. Oh, we also have 700 wood now. Very nice. I suppose chopping every single tree on the map down is probably beneficial in that respect. But we're gonna need a lot more wood than that. Oh, Chrissy is wearing uh, some of our heavy plate armor. How about no? Don't wear that, that's not for you. You are a slave. Slaves do not get the cool armor. Let's see. I believe we wanted to give that to Storch here. Let's go ahead and go get him to wear that. Gotta give all of our melee guys good armor. 
speaking of good melee guys, let's start actually uh, moving them so that they're all together for easy doing. Oh, speak of the devil. We are being attacked by a man-hunting pack of wolfhounds. How many of them? Twelve of them. Well, sounds like a job for the melee squad. All right, well, let's get Latch over here to open the door and then fall back. Uh, we'll get Pada here to immediately move over as well. All right, let's show these wolfhounds how we do it. All right, there we go. Uh, we just killed all of them. Finish off wolfhounds. Okay, let's also go ahead and do one last convert on Mephroctus. I believe this should get them to switch. There we go. Mephroctus is now Ranchism. Let's also go ahead and try to convert this guy. What's he believing right now? Perfect army. Oh yeah. Let's try to get him converted. Huh. Well, they believe in, in in Christ. That's interesting. I'd like to reiterate, these are all randomly generated. This is just random ideology. Oh, that's, a, that's certainly something. Yeah, and all we gotta do is make sure this guy stays fed for seven days. And then he'll be out. He's actually, wow, that's actually a really good colonist. Plants, eight. Social, ten. Medical, two, but with a passion. And construction, three, but with a huge passion. I kind of want to keep him. But I also really want the other guy who has a huge passion for cooking and plants more. Those are more useful to me as skills. And we researched writing, so now we can we can put we can make books to pass on to later generations, or just to help pass around skills. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, you know what? Let's actually do a Neolithic. Let's go ahead and finish researching roads and then heavy shields. Oh, a Frost Lynx is hunting maze. I would like if you did not do that. I would also like to tame you. But I can't because we need animals level 9. Well, okay then. Is there nothing easier to hunt than maze? Huh. Alright, well let's go ahead and get the melee squad. Should also probably set them up to prefer melee so that I don't have to keep setting it up manually. Prefer your melee skill. Oh, we're gonna kill it. Oh, hey, a hostile force spotted. Expected to arrive in one day. Alright. And there we go. Didn't even have to tell them to stab it. Wow, that thing's durable. Wow, that thing was that thing was durable. Also, apparently, it can give you frostbite. Huh. Well, that's certainly something. Let's go ahead and haul that puppy. Well, let's go ahead and haul that kitty in, and butcher it and turn it into food. Actually, right now, I think we should probably suspend butchering temporarily. I don't think we need more. And also, it looks like while we were dealing with that Frost Lynx, they went ahead and finished up the walls. So this place can now officially be called done. Now all we gotta do is put in some torches so it's not pitch black. Bing, bang, boom. There we go. Cause incompetent cook. It's not even because the room's dirty, it's because he's incompetent, apparently. He has cooking 13, and they're calling him incompetent. I... wow. 
Okay, then. Uh, now, where do we get the thing to write the books? That's a great question. Um, I don't... There it is. Writing table. Let's build one of those in here. I'm sure we can find a use for it. Let's see. Any other production things we want to build in here? Let's build a smelter. Why not? Then maybe we can start getting rid of all, some of these uh, ridiculous amounts of weapons we have just sitting around that nobody wants to buy. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All the torches are built. Except for in here. But in here does not need torches. Also, milk. I wonder if we can make cheese. But let's check that. Cheese. Cheese making. There it is. All right. Uh, I think cheese making should take priority over figuring out roads and heavy shields. Let's do cheese. Uh, we got milk coming in from cows and goats. Well, muffalo and goats. So, actually, oh wait. No, muffalo don't. We got milk coming in from goats. I don't see why we shouldn't research cheese. We also have a rat that's just sitting in our base. Being a rat. Probably eaten those corpses. Maze, maybe you should go to sleep, man. Maze is ridiculously dedicated to working on this anima tree. He is up there all night working. It's like, dude, go to sleep. You're gonna work yourself to death. It's cold out. Go freeze. And we're gonna need everybody in tip top shape if this raid coming up is uh, decently sized. Speaking of which, let's also, now that we have more granite, go ahead and do a bit more work on the castle wall. Make it a little bit more durable. Latch, go ahead and remove the suit. And there we go, everyone. Our first ten lavish stews, which will keep our people happy when they eat them. Let's make another one. We got a lot of meat. You know what, let's always just, uh, let's just do until we have X, where X is 1, because the soup itself rots in 4 days, and this takes 3 days to make a soup. I say that's a pretty good time frame. And the soup shall always take priority over whatever else you are cooking. Make me soup. Yeah, soups are really resource intensive. But, well, lavish stews are anyway. But it'll make our people happy to have them to eat. So. Oh, and you failed to construct a smelter. Okay, of course you did. But you did succeed in making a writer's table. So now we can use cloth and leather, and we can craft any of these. Now, I believe the way this works is... You make the book, and whoever has the highest skill can write the book, and then you can give that book to someone else, and it'll give them the boost to that skill. So, like, we can make a bunch of cooking books and planting books, written by Latch and uh, Maze, and then we could give those to the new guy who's going to be joining us to boost up his skills really quickly. The only problem with that is we only have 86 cloth, because we used all of our cloth to make clothes. So we're going to have to grow more cloth. Leather is not lacking. We got a lot of leather. But that just kind of comes with the territory of hunting everything to extinction in order to not starve to death. And there we go. That was all of our granite. I think we could technically build two more walls. So we're not going to bother with that. But that is... So from here... So from this section of the wall all the way up to the choke point is now all granite castle wall. Nice and defended. Oh, and they're eating the lavish stews. Let's see the mood boost those give. 12. They give a 12 they give a plus 12 mood boost for 24 hours if you eat one stew. Wow, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to keep a stew in stock at all times. Jeez. It does burn through our meat though. And our corn, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Um 
we are almost out of food again. Uh, so we're going to need to increase our corn production next year. Okay. And keep that in mind. This next upcoming grow season, we will need many much more corn. Considering it's only the 10th of December and we are out of corn. And that's a raid from the Bompa Pack. That means lots of guns. That means 29 people with guns. One of them is named Alaska. Well, I believe this is actually bigger than the raid that destroyed our previous colony. So that leaves us with some options. Either we can try to hold our ground or we can run away. Now, I do believe it said they are going to attack immediately. They are attacking immediately. Okay, so... I think I'm going to leave off this episode here because that fight... That fight right there, 29 people versus my, what, 10? We are at a severe disadvantage. So, I think this fight is probably going to take probably five minutes minimum. Uh, so it's going to be at the start of next episode. So we made good progress this episode, finished off the restaurant, and uh, uh, really that's it. We accepted a quest, we did that, expanded the workshop, uh, got more wood, I guess that's good. We also found out that uh, stew is very expensive and we are now out of corn. So we're going to need to grow a lot more corn the next grow season. Uh, so with that, uh, I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>